Hi, I'm Nancy and welcome to my Nancy Stevens vlog theatre review from this week. And I have just come back from Milton Keynes Theatre where I want another slice of the pie, the musical pie that is Waitress, which is on at Milton Keynes Theatre till Saturday. Written by Sarah Borellis, it features the story of Jenna, who is a waitress, uh, who is a brilliant baker. She makes the most amazing pies. Uh, stuck in a, a pie diner, I suppose, for want of a better expression, married to her childhood sweetheart, Earl, who is uh, abusive and controlling, and uh, she doesn't she's, she doesn't really know how to, to get out of her situation. But I think baking is her catharsis, and uh, she, she comes to work to, to get away from him while she has no choice, but she's supported by her amazing co-workers. And uh, Lucy Jones, who plays Jenna, I've seen her before, and I'll say it again, I said it last time, and I'll say it again, she is one of our musical talent, musical theatre talent, she really, really is. Uh, Lucy came to fame, reaching the finals of The X Factor in 2009, um, but she's so much more than that, and her musical theatre pedigree is as long as my arm, it is extraordinary. I saw her in Legally Blonde, I loved her then, and I loved her even more now. What I love about her is she's so natural on stage. You don't ever feel that you're watching someone who's acting or, you know, sometimes you can watch a musical and it feels like it's um, sort of painting by numbers or dancing through numbers or singing by numbers, but absolutely not that at all. She's so natural. You just feel like she was, she's Jenna. She's, she's amazing. So natural, natural comedy, uh, comic timing, beautiful, beautiful voice. Uh, 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 Oh, I love her. I'm a huge fan. I didn't realise how much of a fan I was at all, I say, saw her again in Waitress. She co-stars with uh, Matt Willis, who stars as uh, Dr. Poe po Monta, who is the love interest. So basically what happens is, without giving too much away, she's married to Earl, very unhappy, falls pregnant, not best pleased about it, but has to accept that she's going to have the baby regardless. She goes to visit her gynaecologist, who happens to be this rather dishy doctor. And they fall in love pretty much instantaneously. He's very nervy, a bit geeky. Um, he's got some weird hang-ups, but he, he, they just love each other. And it's quite graphic. Some of the some of the scenes. I mean, more graphic than I've seen on on a stage of, uh, in a long time, to be honest with you. The chemistry was fantastic, really amusing and touching. And Matt Willis is incredible. Great voice, great actor. And I know we know him for Busted, sort of boy band of the 90s, but he's so much more than that. And uh, yeah, if you go if you, if you go and see these two together, it, it's worth it just for that. But the show is so lovely. It's, it's so heartwarming. As I say, it doesn't shy away from a difficult subject matter, which is domestic abuse. But um, it also deals with friendship and uh, cooperation and girl power, kind of, you know, female, female women lifting each other up, which is what we should be doing. Uh, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about the rest of the cast and how amazing they were. Uh, Michael Stark, before I forget, was in Brookside many moons ago. And I was such a Brookside fan and he plays Joe, who's the diner, uh, he owns the diner. And uh, when he sings, he really reminded me of um, Kenny Rogers. It just, oh, he's lovely. He comes in and he orders the same food every day and he's quite curmudgeonly, but he's just lovely. And uh, yeah, it's great. It's just great. I mean, he's done so much since Brookside, obviously. Um, but in, and he's aged quite a lot, but in a lovely kind of cuddly way. So he's fantastic. Uh, I wanted to shout out to Be uh, Sandra Marvin, who plays Becky. I've seen her play um, uh, Mama Motor but Mouth in Hairspray before, and she's a real live wire, a force to be reckoned with. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Evie Hoskins' as Dawn is so cute, quirky, bonkers, weird. Um, she's trying to find the love of her life, goes for some online dating, and that, having been there myself, you get a lot of weirdos. Um, but uh, the first boy she meets, uh, called Oki, they absolutely fall in love, and it's this crazy little love, you know, little romance that goes on between the two of them as well. Um, special shout out to um, Scarlett Gabriel as Nurse, as Nurse Norma, not on for very long, but very funny when she was there, definitely. Um, who else did I want to mention? Christopher D. Hunt as Cal, uh, who's trying to run the diner, but not doing a very good job of it. Basically, the women run the show. And who else did I want to say? And Earl, um, Tamlin Henderson, who plays Earl, who's the husband, uh, Jenna's husband. You know, he's obviously playing a very unlikable character, but he's a, he's a great actor with a very broad range. Uh, it's a very tight cast, very small. 
Um, it's only what 10, 15 people in the cast. A lot of swing, you know, interplaying, relate, you know, um, different parts. But you don't feel that at all. You don't feel like you're shortchanged. Some shows feel like there's not enough members of the cast. That's absolutely not the case at all. So she falls in love. Jenna falls in love with her her doctor, as you do. And uh, obviously, there's never going to be a happy ending because he's married, she's married, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. She's trying to leave Nowheresville uh, by winning um, some money in a baking contest just to, to get her life, get out of there. It doesn't go according to plan. Of course it doesn't, it's musical theater. But I won't spoil the ending to say how it ends up, but it, it's just it's just lovely. Lovely songs, just heartwarming, funny, courageous, so, you know, and how, how, you know, how, how women, how friendships can sustain you through a really, really difficult time as well. And also, you know, how she, she just creates a new life for herself, shall we say. But so Lucy Jones and Matt Willis, absolutely fantastic. Waitress is on at Milton Keynes Theatre till Saturday. So worth a visit. Um, definitely tickets available. Cannot recommend it enough. If you'd like to uh, subscribe to my channel, please click on the link below to the Nancy Stevens Show. And I will see you at my next show. Take care and break a leg. Bye.